Disclaimer. This video is for educational purposes only. We do not promote, encourage, or provide tutorials for illegal activities on the dark web. Our goal is to shed light on its reality in 2025, the risks and its impact on society. When you hear dark web, most people think of horrifying myths, red rooms, hitmen, or elite hacker groups, but the reality is more ordinary, yet just as dangerous. In truth, the dark web is simply the hidden part of the internet, accessible only through special browsers like Tor. It isn't all horror stories, but it isn't safe either. Let's explore what it really looks like in 2025. In 2025, the dark web operates through encryption and anonymity. Sites use onion domains hidden from normal search engines. The structure has evolved into four main areas. Marketplaces, drugs, weapons, fake IDs, and hacking tools. Forums, where hackers, criminals, but also journalists and activists gather. Illegal services, everything from ransomware for hire to human trafficking networks. Legitimate uses, whistleblowers, dissidents, and citizens escaping censorship. It's a double-edged sword, dangerous but also essential for freedom in many regions. Here's the truth. The dark web doesn't look like a high-tech movie. It's mostly text-based websites with outdated designs. Pages are slow, often ugly, and filled with broken links. Think of it as the early internet of the 1990s, but hidden, and filled with both secrets and scams. By 2025, artificial intelligence has transformed the dark web, deepfake scams, AI generates realistic videos to impersonate officials, AI chatbots for criminals, some forums now offer chatbots that teach hacking or guide scams, adaptive malware, AI-driven viruses can rewrite themselves to avoid detection. But AI isn't just for criminals. Law enforcement now uses it to track suspicious patterns and shut down illegal marketplaces faster than ever. Curiosity might tempt people, but entering the dark web in 2025 comes with major risks. Scams. Over 60% of marketplaces vanish after a few months stealing money. Viruses and malware. Many sites infect your device instantly. Government surveillance, cyber police in most countries track activity closely. Legal trouble. Even visiting certain illegal domains can trigger investigations. Mental health impact, disturbing content, illegal, violent, or shocking, is still out there. The dark web economy continues to thrive on cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Monero. But in 2025, blockchain tracing tools have made Bitcoin less private. As a result, criminals now prefer Monero and privacy coins. Marketplaces look like crude versions of eBay, but instead of clothes, you'll find counterfeit passports, stolen credit cards, and hacking kits. Despite its dark reputation, the dark web also serves a positive purpose. Journalists use it to protect whistleblowers. Citizens in censored nations access blocked news sites. Activists organize securely without fear of government retaliation. For many, the dark web remains a lifeline for truth and freedom. In the coming years, experts believe the dark web will split into two paths. A criminal hub, powered by AI, harder to regulate a safe space for free speech protected by encryption and human rights groups. The balance between these two sides will define whether the dark web becomes more dangerous or more necessary. The dark web in 2025 is not the monster shown in movies. It's stranger, riskier, and far more real. It's a place where crime, technology, and freedom collide. And while it might remain hidden, its impact on our digital world is impossible to ignore. So, what do you think? Should the dark web be shut down or is it a necessary evil in today's society? Comment below and let's discuss.